Namaste everyone, I'm Mayank Bansu and uh, sharing this patient who had uh, presented with vitreous hemorrhage uh, and uh, his previous notes mentioned that there was a history of neovascular AMD and giving injections inside the eye, intravitreal anti -vegel. And uh, with this history in mind, uh, we were aware that he's likely to have a subretinal bleed. So after completing the cataract surgery, phaco emulsification with IOL in the bag, uh, I went ahead and uh, did the vitrectomy, cold vitrectomy. On clearing this old vitreous hemorrhage, uh, the subretinal bleed was very, very evident and uh, fairly massive. Uh, although it was old, we did uh, decide to go ahead and give him a subretinal injection of tissue plasminogen activator along with anti vegf we chose uh, a Flibercept. And uh, we first started with a site which was just outside the arcades inferiorly and injected a bleb of the uh, cocktail of drugs as well as then choosing a side superiorly mostly at the junction of a slight uh, uh, detached retina as well as an attached so as to not traumatize the uh, retina with this cannula the 38 gauge cannula for which we were using which we were doing the subretinal injection so the bleb uh, formed consistently while injecting the drugs and uh, after seeing this lab formation, we checked the retina for any peripheral tears or any other peripheral lesions which might need a laser uh, with the retinal periphery looking okay. I did the fluid air exchange. We were able to leave the eye completely sutureless. The patient had a vision change from hand motions to 5 by 60. The bleed which was uh, old and long standing did completely resolve with the TPA given subretinally um, which uh, was uh, very heartening to see and uh, uh, the vision change perhaps just given the old bleeding was perhaps not very significant but uh, definitely left the patient happy. Thank you for watching. Namaste.